it came to my attention that a DJ and um, I'm not going to say any names because I don't think it's necessary. A DJ basically said that, um, you know, a lot of the pioneers in hip hop, are, you know, they're dusty or how can they be the pe person that, um, you know, invented hip hop? If, uh, you know, they don't have a lot of money um, or if they don't look or represent like they have a lot of dough. Right. First of all, let me let me let me say this. First of all, you know, like let's talk about like young artists. Right. Which who I love. I love the young artists. Let's be clear. I'm very much a guy who embraces the young artists. I believe in every generation. I believe in you. I care about you. Let me say this to you, though. Today, you could come up with your five-year plan, your 10-year plan, your 20-year plan. You can go find a manager. You can find an accountant. You could find somebody that means something to you, um, you know, to help you. You could find a team to help your career go to the next level. When hip-hop first started, there were no managers. There were no accountants that believed in it. Record companies didn't even believe in it. Nobody believed in it. How can you make a five-year plan or a 10-year plan on something that doesn't even exist yet, that people have never even heard of? So just because a couple of these guys and girls and people out here made songs and made music and made contributions to this culture, or even dancers danced and, 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 and put, made these contributions, to just because they didn't get rich, just because they weren't able to pile up millions or billions of dollars does not mean that they didn't make a contribution to this culture. That does not mean that they didn't do something. They created an industry that we all ate off of. They created an industry that you eat off of. When you go out there and you go monetize your brand, when you go monetize your brand, when you go get your, your whatever and do what you got to do to build your career, when you go out there and, and negotiate your deals and negotiate your checks and talk tough, guess what? That money, that bread, that food that you eating was created by those same people that you disrespected. That industry was created by them same people that you call in, you know, foul words, foul language. The think the people that you're referring to. So my thing is this. It's always good. It's always good to get money. It's always important. It's important. It's important to get money. I agree. I'm all about getting paper. I've been talking about it my whole career. But don't ever, ever, ever confuse being rich with making a contribution to our culture. Don't ever play yourself like that again. Because trust me, you playing yourself. Because without these dudes and these girls who started this hip hop culture, a lot of the guys that's out there talking tough, you wouldn't even have a career. You'd be, we'd be on the corner with a beer talking about what's the next move we gonna make. So I would say approach this game with humility and be glad and be thankful that these pioneers, you know, these exactly slave mentality, be glad that these pioneers help create this culture and let's show them love. Let's elevate them. Let's celebrate them. That's why I started rock the bells. That's why I started this movement. So I wouldn't have to listen to, to foolish rhetoric about people that changed the world. These people changed the entire world. The whole planet runs on hip hop culture right now. The whole planet, every commercial, Every, the, 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 you know, everything you could think of is all about hip hop. And there are people out there that started this thing. And I think that they deserve to be honored and respected. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm not going to say no names. I'm not going to say nothing foul. I'm not going to go at nobody's character. I'm just going to say. Think before you speak. Peace.